everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week while. Well. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about my top 10 projects that took me a really long knitting projects that took me a really long time to knit. So these are projects that um so just recently over quarantine now that I'm not working or going to my program, I've had so much time to actually work on my knitting time management skills which is a lot e which is really easy for me because um then I know how much to charge because I have a bad habit of undercharging myself and not knowing how long products take me. So I'm going to talk about all the products that took me a very long time to knit. And most of them I have the um, actual time that I that took me a long time that took me to make them. One of these I actually don't have the time that took me to make these because I wasn't very good at timing myself at the time. So I'm going to get started and let me know what projects you knit you've knitted that took you a really long time and how many hours it took down in the comments below so i'm gonna get started so number one on my list would have to be the yo-yo blanket by we are knitters so this is the yo-yo blanket by we are knitters i have a review on it and if you didn't see it i'll link it down below this was a fun blanket but it despite the fact this product took me such a long time to knit it took me a whole week i don't know exactly how many hours it took me to make. I wasn't very good at timing myself at the time, but I remember it took me like almost a week, week and a half to make because I had to knit it and then all the little bobbles um, I had to work on. And it was very, very frustrating because this thing just took me such a long time to make. Make, but I did have fun with it. I don't remember exactly how many hours it took me. I apologize. I wasn't very good at timing myself, but I remember this took for I was knitting it every day and it took me almost a week and a half to make make but I cannot remember how exactly how many hours I, it took me because like I said at that time I wasn't very good at timing myself and I have a review on the We Are Knitters yo-yo blanket and I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below if you didn't see it. Number two on my list would have to be the Edelweiss shawl scarf. So this is my Edelweiss shawl scarf. This is my own pattern. So what it is, it's a giant scarf made it scarf that looks like a shawl and you can wear it as both a shawl and a scarf. So this thing took me 16 hours to knit because despite the fact I was using big needles, the yarn made it like so hard to knit because it was so thin and it took a lot of work to do and it was a very exhausting project project and I had it on my Facebook page for a while but then I had to discontinue it because the product took me so long to make but then I brought it back later on because I really realized how much fun I had making it despite the fact it took me a really long time to knit. So I kind of had a love-hate relationship with this product just because like I said it took me 16 hours but I really enjoyed the process because the Edelweiss stitch is one of my favorite knitting stitches. Number um, three on my list would have to be the Ombre Bamboo Shawlette. So this is what the Ombre Bamboo Shawlette looks like. I call it the Ombre Bamboo Shawlette because it was a um, shawl, a mini shawl you could wear over your shoulders. I'll show you guys what it looks like on. So it's a mini shawl you could wear over your shoulders and it's very fun to wear and it's not as long as the um, shawl scarf which I have made before and I, for, and I really had fun making this despite the fact this product took me 22 hours to knit, which is kind of crazy for a product, Nick, but it was but it was worth it in the end because I came out with this really pretty shawl, uh, shawlette, and I love how it came out despite the fact it took me 22 hours, whereas because I love the stitch and the effect I got with the yarn. And I have a review on Lion Brand's Shawl in a Ball, and if you didn't see the video, I will link that down below. Number four on my list would have to be the stocking cap. So here's the picture of the stocking cap I just recently made. This product was fun, but this one took me... I think I have it in my other book. Give me one second. This one took me eight hours to knit. I think it's because the color, ch color changing and then adding the little tassel right there. That one took quite a long time because I had to trim the tassel too. Um, but it was a, such a fun project to do because I love the look of it, especially with the stripes you get from the um, variegated yarn along with the solid color. I really like the look of it with the effect you get from the solid color because I think it's super cool. 
cool. And I have a video of me knitting the stocking cap. Like I said, I'm not going to link it down below because it's in parts. Parts and that would take up so much space in the description box. So um, I really had fun. Despite the fact this one took me about eight hours, I just had so much fun making it just from um, switching up the colors. And that's the fun part about knitting is switching up colors when you want to do a stripe. Number um, five on my list would have to be the Edelweiss pillow. So this is my Edelweiss pillow. This was a fun project. This is one of my favorite pillows I've made for my house. I've made several other ones in green, purple, and red. This one is kind of like a berry colored. It may look maroon on the camera. And I also made a pink one that is on my bed. I had so much fun making this. This one takes me 12 hours and 16 minutes. But I really love the process because you get this really pretty pattern on it and I love the look of it and it's all flowers and it's really cool and I really enjoy this um, stitch and it's just my favorite stitch that I've learned over quarantine. Number six on my list would have to be my Diana Infinity Scarf. So this is my Diana Infinity Scarf. I made this pattern up all by myself. I actually was inspired by someone who wore a scarf like this. And I called it the Diana Infinity Scarf because um, just for personal reasons. And I really like the look of it because it's got like this really cool pattern on it. And I love the stitch. Um, it's really cool. And I love the look of the cable with a moss stitch. It looks really nice. Nice. And I love how this scarf came out. And this one took me nine hours to make. So yeah, this product took me about nine hours to knit because um, of all the cables and the twist and then switching the stitches. But I really enjoy it just because I love the look of the um, cable with the moss stitch border. It looks really cool. Cool. And I love a good border with the cable. I think it adds a nice touch. Number seven on my list would have to be the ski bonnet. So this is what the ski bonnet looks like. Um, I really had fun knitting this because I love um, doing a cable effect for knitting because I love cables. I think they're so much fun. And I have a two different, I made this in several different colors. I made one in blue, one in a green, which is my sample. I have one, I had one in like a gray sparkle. And I also had one in a, Purple I just recently made, and I also made one in charcoal, yeah, like a charcoal gray and stuff. So this one was a fun project, but this took me eight hours and 24 minutes to knit, knit which I find a little bit quick for a project that has a lot of cabling and a lot of, a lot of design in it. But this one took me a really long time to knit because it was like, um, because of all the, um, different, um, cause I had to remember which row I was on for the pattern in order for, order to make the pattern. And, and I had to remember, and I had to look at a chart in order to know where I was. So this is what the hat looks like on me. And so this took me just a really long time just because I had to follow a chart and then look at the chart and then write down which rows I was in the chart so I wouldn't get lost. But I really enjoyed it because I like the different designs and I love the challenge. I'm a really into challenging myself when it comes to knitting. Number eight on my list would have to be a cat. So the big one is the knitted cat. I made this one for, I made this one for one of my mom's friends cause she wanted one for her kids. And so this is what the cat looks like. This took me 11 hours, 11 and a half hours to knit because I had to um, attach, I had to knit the feet of the cat separately. And then I had to attach the, uh, and then I had to knit the whole body up and then follow the decreasing patterns in different ways and then I had to make the tail add the eyes add the details and then sew the whole thing together plus stuff it that took me 11 and a half hours just because I was also working with small needles too and sometimes the smaller the needle the longer it takes takes but I really loved making this project just because I love making stuffed animals I think they're so much fun I've made a few of these for my mom, I've made several of these for my dad. I've made, I actually just recently made one um, last month for my aunt and uncle. And these were just so much fun. And especially the cat, because the cat, I love how cute it is. I made one, I made one for my dad for 
Christmas. This and he loves these. Number nine on my list would have to be the Harry Potter scarf. scarf. Sorry. So this is the Harry Potter scarf. Um, this is a pattern by Sheep and Stitch here on YouTube. If you would like to do her pattern, I will link her video in the description box down below. This one, one second. This one took me 23 minutes and 54, um, 23 hours and 54 minutes. Yeah, that's a really long time for a scarf. I had so much fun making it though because I like um, the look of those Hogwarts scarf. And if you would like to make a Hogwarts scarf for yourself, self, I like you can make a Gryffindor, a um, Slytherin, a um, Hufflepuff. Uh, I think those are the only houses they have. I'm not sure. Um, I never really read the Harry Potter series, so I don't really know much about Harry Potter. And if you would like to make a Harry Potter scarf like the one I made, I will leave. It's by Davina from Sheep and Stitch, and I will link her video in the description box down below. Well, and she also has some print friendly PDFs. Yeah, so it's such a fun um, project, despite the fact that one took me like 23 hours to knit. I really enjoyed it just because I love changing up colors. I love the look of it. And it's like so much fun because it's not just a plain garter stitch. It like switches up the stitches. And I sometimes get bored doing the same um, garter stitch in the same row because then um, I don't see an effect. I like stitches that have more of an effect because I think it makes my projects look really nice. Number 10 on my list would have to be a polka dot lace scooty. Sadly, I don't have a picture of my polka dot lace scooty. Um, I, that thing took me a really long time to knit too. too. And it was like a scarf with a hood that you could wear around your neck. It was similar to the Aurora hood, which was made by, um, which is made by um, Pleasant Seas. And if you would like to see that video, I'll link her video down below. So that one, um, it was a hat, it was a scarf with a hood. I don't know where mine is right now. I don't have a picture of it. And I think it's somewhere in my room, but I can't find it right now because I have cats in my room and it's kind of hard to find everything. So this one, give me one sec, took me about 14 hours and 49 minutes to knit. Um, I was doing, I was making this because I was trying to use up some leftover yarn I had from a shawl scarf that I made for a customer. And um, this one was, took me such a long time to knit because I had to figure out how many stitches to cast on and then count how many rows I've done per hour. It was such a process and then figure out how the pattern would work. This was such a hard pattern because I had to figure out which row I was on, how many um, rows I had to do in between each, um, each pattern row. And this one just took a really long time just because I was working with size eight knitting needles and those things. And sometimes when you're using smaller needles, it takes such a long time and depending on the amount of stitches you cast on. So yeah, that one took me just a really long time just because the pattern, the stitches, and just like um, attaching it together in general, it was such a huge process. So process, that thing took me such a long time to make that I decided not to sell it because I had to charge so much for the amount that it took me to make. So those are my top 10 projects that have taken me a long time to knit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize this video is so long, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week fall, and I'll see you soon. Bye.